If you're like me, you just had to have every color and size of paper and silk flowers. And although I love to add a flower embellishment to my cards, it seems like I'll never be able to use up all those beautiful flowers. But Melanie Munchinger's newest stamp set, Holiday Basket, will have you creating beautiful basket bouquets. And although Melanie has added gorgeous floral arrangements to stamp and color, this basket can also be used in other ways. Let me show you how to do this technique. First, I'm going to color the basket. And I'm going to start by inking up the basket stamp using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Look how nice and big that basket is. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm going to stamp that right in the center here of this piece of ivory cardstock. Then I'm going to use one of my Copic markers, and this one is E35, and it's called Chamois. I'm going to use the wider chisel end of my marker because I want to cover a large area, and then I'll finish up around the edges using the bullet side. So I'm just going to scribble ink all over this. And then if I go a little bit outside the lines, I'm not too worried about it because I'm actually going to cut this basket out for my card project. Okay, so now I've got most of that done. Now I'm going to flip over to the, the bullet side to just refine along the edges. I really like this color. It reminds me a lot of the Longaberger style baskets, the American Crafts baskets. Just a real homespun feel. All right, and almost finished here. Now I'm not going to color the little twisted edge here at the bottom or at the top because to make it easier for me to cut it out, I'm just going to cut along the black line under that and this black line here rather than trying to cut all those little scallopy edges. Now I'm going to show you how to age this basket. So what I have here is a chow colorless blender pen and you can use any blender pen the original the sketch or the chow and I'm going to rub the blender pen just over the center of each of these areas just like that and it's neat how it just creates an aged look it makes the basket look a little bit worn and that's what's kind of quaint about baskets sitting around the house. They look so nice when they're worn just a little bit. So I'm just going to create that here with this colorless blender. Can you see how that color is just getting pulled up? And it's creating, looks like the stain is just worn right off the basket. Here. And then I'm going to create a little bit more wearing away right up here along this ridge, the top of the basket, just to really kind of make that look worn. Isn't that pretty? And now, like I said, Melanie has created so many beautiful flower arrangements that you can pop into this basket. But I'm going to show you a card project that I made that used a lot of my paper flowers. And here it is. I used a little bit of pattern paper from the Cosmo Cricut Salt Air Pattern Paper Pack. And then I stamped one of the uh, greetings down here at the bottom. And this greeting comes with this holiday basket stamp set. It's thankful for you and all you do. And I thought that would make such a nice Thanksgiving card to send to a relative or a friend. And then I was able to use up seven flowers to fill my basket. And I just popped copper brads in the center of each flower to make a center and then I adhered them using some quarter inch pop dots so that they had lots of dimension and they were coming off of that card and flowing over the side of the basket. This set is a fabulous way to use up those flowers and it makes such a pretty card and when the recipient gets it and they see all those beautiful flowers they're gonna be like wow. Holiday Basket mixes and matches with the images from Melanie's Spring Basket set and her Basket Buddy stamp set too. But you can also fill them with all kinds of embellishments that you have in your stamping inventory.